got to, I've got to try the drive. <laughs> I've got to. I saw the only other day and he said he had a bit of a tiger on the end of it, if you will. Well, I think the cantankerous bug all the way, so push, push, push now. from Peter Moss, you know, Peter came and fished with me in 2004 and I showed him how to use Velcro to blow, brush out dubbing on a number of different flies, BMSs and spooks and, and the like and he went home and was tying up some, or trying to tie a little squid fly and he was using chenille and the dubbing got tangled up in the chenille while it was on the bench and he wound it on and brushed it out with some Velcro yeah, and me. Yeah, away you went. Yeah. just sort of it came from there he rang me up and told me about it and for me it was just like a opening a door that had never been opened before mm -hmm. um i just tried it on everything i possibly could just tried to see how far you could actually take this idea of putting the dubbing onto something other than the thread because for years we've put dubbing onto the threads to create the bodies on flies gives you the ability to create a three-dimensional fly where particularly with the dubbings that are translucent it allows you to put something inside in the middle of the fly and then cover it with one of these clear one of these clear strings yeah. um, so that's just a clear stretchy string but you you can cover it with that and put your dubbing onto here and then when you brush it out if it's a translucent dubbing it allows you to see what's inside the fly so you know you get to see the guts They're not solid silhouettes. Most of the bugs aren't solid silhouettes. And, and that's where, you know, traditional flies have fallen down, you know, because they are a solid silhouette. You know, we can brush it out and, and create little, you know, air bubbles and that around them, but they're still basically, it's a solid silhouette.
all up. Well, I've got probably 20 standard flies that are utilised a fuzzling technique. Um, you know, a mixture of, of trout flies and saltwater flies and everything from, you know, size 16 scuds to, you know, articulated minnows <laughs> that we've just done today. Ultimately, it's a new fly tying technique and there's not many new techniques that you see. We see new materials, but we don't see many new ways of tying flies, of utilising these materials, and, and this is what this is. And, it, um, and, and the possibilities are, are still there. There's heaps and heaps more things that can be done with it, you know. The more people that see it, the more brains and ideas that people are going to you know, have with it and it could, it could go anywhere.